So here in cages right next to each other, we've got adult raccoons next to capybara, which is from South America, it's from North America, cages right next to each other. This is the biggest rodent in the world. And on top of here, I think marmosets on top of the capybara. And on the left here, we've got some kind of primate. Hello. Lots of different kinds of birds here, poultry. This is dangerous. This is the kind of thing that leads to bird flu. There's more animals for sale now, so they're reopening. This is uh, not good. For the last almost 30 years, my colleagues and I have been uh, warning about the potential outbreak of zoonotic diseases, zoonotic outbreaks from uh, wildlife trade, because all these animals can carry infectious diseases. I think these wildlife markets, not just Wuhan, but across the, the region really are, are ticking time bombs. And what we just saw here is, it's like a biological warfare lab. Any one animal can transmit a pathogen to another. Somebody buys it, handles it, takes it home as a pet or eats it, boom we have another pandemic. Here in Southeast Asia is a hot spot of avian influenza. We have numerous cases and, and it's been circulating endemically in bird populations for 20 plus years. influenza mutates so rapidly. Now, most of the time, those mutations aren't going to do much to the virus. However, sometimes it can change the way it binds to a cell, so it can go maybe better into a human. So the more times it jumps into a human, the more chance it has to adapt to human physiology to, to make it a worse disease in humans. And then eventually that's going to possibly become transmissible from human to human. And that's when we end up with another pandemic. And this is concern because they can create new type of virus that have different genetic components from bird and human virus. That means we are very susceptible, we don't have immunities, and that can potentially cause a pandemic. We have to remember that there are so many viruses we don't know yet in the world. We just started discovering, and as we search more, we will find more. And without understanding this system, we can't control the disease. What do we got? Yes. So we've got uh, one of our staff here extracting data from a phone. Normally we do this with the police. So the trade on the surface looks like a bunch of normal, sometimes low to middle class people just making a buck selling birds, lizards or whatever. That's not it. Behind it, it's organized crime and corruption. This artificial intelligence basically makes us dangerous for the traffickers. Okay. 